Welcome to the Next Generation Fishing Report. Uh, we're just going to call it the Fishing Report this time. We'll, we'll talk about everything going on, inshore, offshore. What do, what do you got, Danny? Roll the dice, baby. Inshore. Still plenty of small tarpon around in the Palm Beach Inlet area, up in around the, all the bridges from the Palm Beach Inlet, up going south. When you get down in the Boynton area around the inlet in Boynton, big tarpon. Monster tarpon, 100, 150 pound fish. You better have the gear to deal with these fish. And hopefully you got a buddy with you that can coach you through it if you're not that great at it. If you're fishing from land. In a boat, it's a little different story. There's guys at the Boynton Inlet right now, late night guys, that are fishing that jetty for these big tarpon on the inside, walking the seawall. And you get one of those hooked up and that thing heads out oceanside, you got a, you got your hands full. Oh, up yeah. the ladder, up the stairs, you need a buddy to hand your rods. It's crazy. Um, tons of snook around still. The snook bite is basically on fire. I am, during the daytime, daytime charters, I'm having no problems at all. If you can find pilchards, live pilchards, and they don't have to be these guys, they can be them little chummers with a little 1 0 or a 2 0 Mutu, owner Mutu circle. That's what I'm using on them. Start flipping them things around docks, and you're going to start catching snook. If you can get a bunch of small baits to chum with, mm. all the better, dude. It's just, it looks snapper, mutton snapper, mango snapper, lane snapper, snook, tarpon. Everything's going on right now because we're like, the snook spawn's winding down. So it's like we're going to be coming up through a lull probably within, eh, it'll be a couple weeks, but we're going to go through a little lull. Right now, there is no lull. Everything inshore is chewing. Mm. And now I want to hear a little bit about offshore because I'm fixing to go try to catch a wahoo Wednesday, uh, Thursday, uh, and Friday the, the wahoo, next week. The wahoo, the wahoo are biting. They are biting, um, and uh, it's only going to get better as this week goes on. So the the wahoo are especially biting off Boynton uh, and uh, Palm Beach area. I haven't heard of too many off Boca, but I wouldn't be surprised. But usually Boca is just as good as as, as Boynton and Palm. Hang Beach. Hang around the inlet areas. In Boca, I like to be. I like to be in Boca from the pier to San Remo. Okay. So the, the pier is south of the That's deer, inlet. the Deerfield Pier. That's right. And then San Remo is the area where, there, so the, there's a condo there called San Remo. They're, they're like a rusty color. You can't miss it. And uh, so that, that area right in front of Boca usually produces Wahoo pretty well. Uh, and then, you know, the, the general areas uh, in, in Boynton, um, Boynton is – is almost all good from the martini glass all the way to Lake Worth. Hundred foot of water out to two fifty. I mean, I like to go a little you... deeper. So, so what I like to do is, and I and and if you're in prime time Wahoo, uh, you know, if if you know when they're biting, morning, night, afternoon, you know, when whenever the outgoing tide is, you got to figure all that out. Mm -hmm. If if you if 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 you got it dialed down to when they're biting, even if I'm using dead bait, I like to speed up a little bit. Uh, I don't I don't do you know, I'm not trying to get my baits to look perfect because normally I'm using a little bit of weight on my baits, mm -hmm. uh, some heavier baits, mm -hmm. and I'm going faster. And what I want to do is cover that ground so I find out You're where You're trying to cover are. as much ground as you can. It, it, There's so many of them around. And the reason being they're around like this right now, my opinion, is the big push of cold water that was up in the Sebastian area that pushed down real hard because the bottom fishing – this week wasn't that good, early week, folks, up in the Jupiter area and going north. The bottom fishing was just, I'm calling guys up there like, we can't get a bite. The fish are here. We're marking yeah. them. We can't get a bite. I said, the water's freezing cold. It pushed all them Wahoo down from the Jupiter to Palm Beach. I'd say basically me. I'm, I'm one of these, yep. you know, Palm Beach Inlet South. And it just pushed them down here. It does it every year. It's August, and they stack. Yeah. The moon phase we're in right now, what do you think as far as? I mean, we're on a full moon Saturday night. Yeah, so all all week up until Saturday is going to be great. Saturday, uh, Saturday you might still get some, but Sunday, Saturday and Sunday are going to be the slower Saturday days. and Sunday, you think? The you, afternoon you, bite. You got to you got to look to see when the outgoing tide is, and that's when I'll which, fish it. Which will be? I can't. I, I I don't know when exactly that. The outgoing afternoon tide. bite. We got to look Saturday at, and Sunday but, afternoon bite. But um, but you know, so so those will be the slower days. So you know, if you've got a vacation day or you're off on Friday. Thursday and Friday, in my opinion, are the days to go. Like today and tomorrow yeah. are the days to go, and these are the days that and, I will be fishing. And, and, again, I'm not saying to speed up because, you know, the faster the better for Wahoo. I'm saying to speed up so you cover that ground so you can find out where the Wahoo are. And, and originally, until you figure it out, 
you know, keep your eyes open, see where, where some of the other guys are fishing too at the same time as far as depth goes. You've you got to give people room though. But what I like to do is if I don't know where they are but I know they're biting, I'll go from 100 to 300 and I'll cover that Fairly area. Fairly quick, zigzagging, even, go north to south. Sometimes even 350. Maybe, maybe south to north, depending on where you're fishing. I like to go with the current. So, so for example, if, if I'm fishing. Hopefully right, it's going north like the norm. It should be going north. Mm -hmm. And and what happens is, so if I, if I know that they're biting in a certain area, say Boynton, for example, from the Martini Glass to the Lake Worth Pier, mm -hmm. I'll start at Martini Glass and go glass and go north mm -hmm. because i don't like to really go against the current but i'll zigzag east and west and i'll just slowly that make current's my way gonna north. help pull him north as That's he's right. doing this guy so That's you can't it's a win-win right there yeah yeah you're cut he's wanting to cover ground what better way to cover ground zigzag back and forth heading north because the current's going to be pulling you north anyway and and going faster right now is also good because it'll minimize your kingfish bite right now the kingfish uh, are hitting the trolling baits and they are thick from from Boynton all the way to Jupiter. Uh, so what happens is you don't want to spend your prime time wahoo fishing, uh, you know, hours catching kingfish. Catching kingfish. So speed it up. Use a little bit bigger baits. And and if you do catch a kingfish, try and try and stay away from that area or speed it up a little bit. Um, maybe stay a little bit deeper if you have to. Um, but you don't want to spend that because right now if you do catch a kingfish you're going to catch another one right in the same spot because they're thick they're schooling together and, and the wahoo thick. as well if you get hooked up with a wahoo try, mark where you got that fish go back and work that yeah. zone some yeah. if you don't get a hit after three or four circles or v8s or what i mean figure eights and all that get, get, move and, on and, and that's the exception to the rule too i don't like to really go you know against the current except if i know that i just got a bite i'll that Forget about going against the current in that case. Go against the current to get back to your spot. Get back where you to that spot it. where you hooked up with that that's fish. That's right. That's right. So everything changes once you catch a fish. Then you work that area. So, but yeah, so kingfish is hot. Wahoo should continue to get better. Um, there was that Bonita tournament this weekend. You know, and I asked in, you about that the other day, and that is lay that on they, them. They, I mean, they, they, they caught a lot of uh, Bonita this weekend. Uh, and then, um, and then there was also a dolphin Calcutta, and I think the winning dolphin was under ten pounds, and it was like twenty five hundred dollars. The guy won. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, but but the Bonita, the it's Bonita's fun. You know, they bite. This they is fish. a Bonita tournament. It was only Bonita. This is a Bonita bass or something. They yeah, call it? but it was a dolphin. They had a dolphin Calcutta, so. I didn't know this, but some people they entered the dolphin Calcutta and went d dolphin fishing instead. Okay. For that for that twenty five hundred dollars. But this price. Jupiter this weekend. It was it was already. Okay, so that yeah. okay that that's over with. Yeah. What do we have going on tournament wise around here this weekend? Anything at all? Not really. Not that's that I know. That's perfect for yeah. you guys who didn't want to be like me that don't want to spend money to get into a tournament. I just right. want to go out and try to catch fish. Yeah, wahoo fishing is what you should probably do this weekend. Uh, and if you're not Wahoo fishing, if you're doing the inshore stuff, do the snook like Danny talked about and all and that. And look, it boiling hot. Oh, my, dude. I mean, brew literally, bro, I'm forcing the people to drink. Like I said last week, drink, drink, drink as much liquid as you have to to stay hydrated. Yep. But if you want to beat that heat, the nighttime bite is just on fire. You go find anywhere there's a lighted dock, anywhere around any of the bridges, preferably, preferably the bridges that – your guys up top ain't allowed to be fishing off of if you're in a boat because then you don't have to worry about them getting mad at you but you, if you do you know work a span yep. if the if the bridge master will let you work a span a little bit around those fender lights and you're gonna they're, look they're just you can walk on them yeah light tackle 30 pound leaders 40 pound leaders but the only problem with that is the other night i got smoked using a 30 pound leader and i was i was jigging a light on a bridge and just just that thing hit that thing, and there was nothing I could do with it. And I'm using a 4,000 Stella, a pretty beefy rod. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to beef up your tackle, but if you want the bite, small bait, small fish, but don't forget elephants eat peanuts. Yeah, it's, a, it's good times. I have a Bahamas report, too. I went to the Bahamas this weekend. Not a whole lot going on as far as pelagics go. Uh, there was some dolphin caught. Uh, there was one or two wahoo caught that I know of. So nothing real hot there. 
Um, you know, I think our Wahoo fishing this weekend will probably be a little bit better. The Wahoo will start to show up in Bahamas very shortly, but mm -hmm. the elephin tuna bite is really slow too. So right now, all that's going on there is is the the deep dropping and the, the bottom fishing, the yellowtail and the like the nighttime yellowfin yellowtail right now yeah. on that Lakaya, the West End area, anywhere yep. on those bimini, drop offs. The the bimini uh, yellow eye bite was really good this weekend. We got some yellow eyes and we caught some really big vermilions too. So. Uh, we, Good eats. Yeah. So, uh, but right, now, it, it's just we're in the middle of summer. It's hot. It's it's. Um, but our bite right now for for this time of the year is doing really good right now. So, get out there and and uh, and and get some get some fish, whether it's at night or during the morning or whatever. And any of these species that we're talking about, if you don't have a rod built for it, and you need a rod built for it, custom for your specs, right here, folks. Next generation custom rods. All right. Weather predictions for this weekend, Mike. What do we got? Uh, southeast winds, 10 knots, 2 foot, they're saying. Two foot. So I think if it's southeast, 10 knots, I think it'll be like maybe 2 to 3, a little close together. The only but problem is we might have those thunderstorms showing up. And yeah, you got to be careful with the thunderstorms this time of the year especially. Um, you know, there's – you always just – and, and, and see if there's a pattern going. If you're seeing a thunderstorm every afternoon, you can expect a thunderstorm the afternoon you want to go fishing too. If you – if you – haven't been seeing a thunderstorm every afternoon you know you can you can start to say okay we might go out you know saturday the humidity night. too you gotta look in the morning if the yeah. humidity is really bad in the morning there's a good chance it's going to rain in the afternoon yeah uh, if you got like like we did on tuesday we we didn't have that much humidity and uh it was it was a lot of humidity on monday and i guess the storm sucked it up but yet we didn't have it on tuesday and now and then on tuesday it didn't even rain all day so yeah so you gotta you know take that into consideration if you get if you go outside and it is muggy and sticky and humid then you most likely are going to have those uh afternoon thunderstorms yeah that's, that's what feeds the fuel to, to those storms now it is it is that full moon coming up wahoo bite uh, it's a topic that everybody's talking about. It's a species that everybody's targeting, and you have that tournament uh, from the Palm Beach Fishing Club. That uh, oh yeah, that's a very small tournament actually. So Danny asked me earlier if there was a tournament. Uh, the West Palm Beach Fishing Club does a full moon Wahoo tournament, and they do it as close to the full moon as possible on Saturday. And it's three three so, uh, three times you can go shoot yeah. for it. But hey, I think it's a great idea. I, I actually came up with the idea about ten years ago. I just never did it. Yeah, but. Yeah. I think the Wahoo fishing will continue to get good, but honestly, I do, I do, and I hate to say it, but I do see fishing uh, getting a little slower over the weekend because of that full moon. So you yeah, know, it's going to be a real at, late afternoon bite, and, and or going first into thing in the morning, or first thing in the morning. But at, at night, if you're definitely going snapper fishing, your yellowtail bite, your uh, your mangrove bite, your mutton bite, everything, all the all your bottom fish good bottom fishing is going to be done at night yeah uh during the day you're probably uh not going to be so very successful there's probably going to be a window in the middle of the day that you might be able to catch the muttons um but for the most part it's going to be an afternoon uh late but do, night but don't give up on the wahoo either if, if you're gonna wahoo fish do it at first light or right before sunset and or or check to see when that outgoing tide is and do it at that time too Yep. So, so uh, as far as uh, snook fishing, yeah, it's coming up. Uh, snook, they, they know when the first, they know when the season opens up, guys. They, it's inevitable. So you can catch snook here for the next uh, week, a uh, week or so, and then once that uh, 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 September first comes around, you know it's going to shut down. It, it happens every year. So yep. guys, you may, you might get lucky and get them on the first day. Zero but. harvest until the first. Yeah, zero harvest till the first, guys. Yep, and, uh, and if you do plan on keeping one after the first, make sure you uh, you get the proper license, uh, you know, for that. Make yeah, sure you, you add, add your snook. Uh, snook stamp. Sounds good. Uh, yep. As far as anything else, uh, uh, that that that's all. I, I mean, dolphin fishing is going to continue to be hit or miss. Uh, on Friday night, when we went to Bahamas, I saw a bunch of weeds out there on Friday night. On Sunday uh, evening, returning, we saw no weeds at all. So it's hit or miss. There, there were some nice dolphin caught this weekend, so uh, maybe they'll be and, – and dolphin fishing, it will get a little slower as well because of the full moon, but dolphin eat 24-7, so, you you know, you'd probably be all right if you went dolphin and fishing. And we're, we're actually uh, – we're going to shoot for a nighttime swordfish trip on Saturday night, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, we'd love to give a report on that. I know they've been biting this year, so it's going to have been a good bite, um, but if the weather doesn't permit, I guess we – you know, it is what it is, but – Anyway, that's our, uh, that's our weather and predictions for this uh, week, and we'll like to see you next week.